while we climb the mountain. It's flat from here on out. Huh? Pretty yeah, much. Pretty much. This is a good clear cut right here. But visibility is limited. That it is. I think we can get above the clouds though. Let's just keep pushing forward. Okay. So that was a mile and a half of a pure ascent. But we made it up here a little flatter. As you can tell, it's all socked in the fog. So we're on the border here of some public land and some private timber company. So we're going to get our camp set up while we can't even really hunt right now. It's too foggy. So we're just going to take this time and get our camp set up and plan on hunting here for the night. And if it's good enough, maybe tomorrow night. If not, we'll head to a different area. So, camp set up. Wood cut. Fog cleared. Time to get after it. Yep. Looks like it'll be a nice day. It'll be the evening. We'll get it down on the evening. Home for the next two nights. So, fog just lifted. We're probably gonna start walking around. Hopefully we'll find a bear and uh, get a shot on it, get it down. So Cody was here a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're at the very end of the road, two mile, two and a half miles in. Got our first bear spotted. You'd be right about in uh, this corner of the clear cut right here. Getting the spot and scope right now. Get some eyes on them. Uh, it'll, it'll be a it'll be a journey to get over there. If we decide to go for him, get a closer look here and see if he's get him on the uh, get him on the old uh, 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 phone scope. He seems like he's all right. He is, he's definitely got size. He's not a small bear by any means. So if that road. Oh. Ah, look at his ear there. Yeah, he's got big ears. He kind of does. He kind of does. 
when you look at them through your dyno, you get sort of a different feel from them. Like yeah, he's legs. small. He's small. He just put his head up and it, mm -hmm. he didn't look very good. Nonetheless, it's a dinner. Where there's one, there's bound to be more. I don't think we're gonna jump it going after this one. It's got lanky legs and big ears, so it's about probably 1,100 to 1,200 yards as the crow flies. But to get over to get to him, we'd have to back out, shoot down, come all the way around. And it's first morning within a couple hours of being here, so. We know where he's at. Maybe as a last resort. But we still got a lot of time. First afternoon, Wednesday, got on a bear this morning, not a good bear by any means, but nonetheless, seeing, seeing animals, go see, can't drum something else up. Well. First day, bear number two spotted. Um, he's in a tough spot, but let's go take a closer look and see see what we can find. See what we can find out about him. Hopefully it's him. Hopefully it's a boar. But too early to tell at this point. Let's go. He's probably sitting. He's probably sitting at about 800 yards from right here, 700. So we're gonna try and cut the distance, get on the end of this knob here, and uh, I think he'll be in range for Cody to get a bear down.
just right over to that. Okay. Let me see where we're at. Let's see how far we're at. I, I still see him. I He's still right see him there. too. I know where he's at. So this bear is just below 475. That tree right there, that second to the left. That red tree. Red tree, he's just below that. So we're, we're gonna scoot up a little closer and see hey, how far are we, 450? Yeah, 450 right here. Let's see, hit the 450 right there. Well, it's really thick over there too, so we gotta kind of watch him for a minute. No, he ain't gonna go anywhere. Make sure that there's no one.
some shade come in handy, huh? I got him in here pretty good. Come on, come. If you take a look at him. Yeah. That's a bump it. Caesars. I haven't taken a good look at them, no. for a minute. It's gonna be a dis it's gonna be a couple hours. It's decisions. gonna be a wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna rush anything here. He'll pop out and he'll open it. He'll be back. Open. Do you have your scope dialed in? Yes, it's all dialed. Did you figure out a decent rest? You are gonna try and do a I'm not gonna sit where are you gonna lay down there? about 5.30, so we still got a few hours of daylight. So we'll just sit here and keep playing cat and mouse with this bear until, until it pops out and gives us an opportunity. It's about 360 yards, so it shouldn't be a problem. He's, you see him? No. He's down yep. by that stump. Yeah, he's not that big. That's a sow. It, 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 it is a sow. That might be a different bear. cameras are green if you want to do it but it's up to you why don't you come take a look here and we can find it out right now He's going down. I'm still on him. He's going down. He's in the bushes a little bit. It's like there's not an opening just below him. Yeah, he's coming down. He's going to come into an, an opening here. Going a little left. Hold on. Kind of to the left a little bit. I got him. He's, he, he's not visible. Nope.
he's still there. He's right there behind that behind that tree. Oh nope, he's going. I'm gonna lose him here though. All right, I've, I've got him. He's going down. To the right. Right there's Broad. Uh, I don't have him. He's going down to the left. I think you need to move up now. <laughs> I don't have him, so. I don't have him either. Let's go up. All right. So a few weekends ago, I came up and spent a lot of time in this area, glass in this clear cut in particular. Probably spent a solid six to eight hours looking just because it looks so good here and sure enough joseph gets out here and five minutes later boom there's a bear but uh he's dipped down into the drainage now so we'll we'll see if we can't wait him out maybe he'll come back out maybe we'll spot another one who knows but that's two bears today so definitely doing doing things right just waiting for it to all come together it's kind of hard when he's dancing through trees yeah kind of thin on the one side yeah not a monster by no means both bears their heights just weren't that good really Like I mentioned, we got Kevin coming in here, just coming to meet up. So we're gonna go make sure he found our camp all right. And just let this bear kinda sit probably for the rest of the night. It's getting, the sun's going down, so it's getting a little bit later. I think we're gonna, like I said, go meet up with Kevin and see if we can't hit some of these other areas before it gets dark and try to get on another bear we haven't really explored this area fully yet so it's still early i want to punch around and see if we can't turn up something else teeny bear dude you really gonna want to go shoot that thing Take a look. Honest opinion. Don't be biased. <laughs> I'm not biased. It's not too small. For sure. But, but. You want to fill your freezer or fill your refrigerator? <laughs> Which one do you want to fill? <laughs> cool. That is a teeny freaking dude. His mom just bombed him off, dude. She's over there somewhere getting... <laughs> Come on. He is a small little He's guy. He's little. 
He's just a cruiser. That's a one armor, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a coyote bear. Hold <laughs> on, I gotta get a, I gotta, we gotta get a picture of it though. For sure. Put the yeah. uh, nonetheless, it's another bear. It is another bear, and you spotted it with your naked eye. That's, that's good. He's just a cruising. He is. He's looking for her. I'm glad we came here. Right? I mean, I knew it was gonna and he, I knew if we spent an evening here we'd <laughs> one armor dude, for sure. For sure. Magic hour still hasn't came yet, dude. I don't want to be really dead yet. Three bears today. One at about 12, no, 10, probably. 10 o'clock. 10, one at five. Kind of had a little dance with him. Uh, and this little, this little guy over here, or as Cody refers to as a whopper. <laughs> Willing to travel all the way down to the road, drive all the way around, and hike in Whopper three Junior. or four miles to try and shoot him. <laughs> no, it was a good day. It was a really productive day. Hopefully, we'll get one on. We'll get one, we'll get one tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tonight into tomorrow morning, so we'll see. We've shot him in the rain before. Maybe we'll get one done, get one down tomorrow. So we're gonna hunt our way back, back to camp, get some food, get some sleep, and uh, hit it tomorrow morning. So stay tuned. Some raw action footage. Doozy or what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at the phone. And I'm like, oh. Fuck. You're like that's. Like that's gonna be a good. That's gonna be a good one. Well, I thought it was like at the bottom. I thought like, oh, maybe it just flattens out. No. No, nope. it's straight up. But well, nice that you're up here. It is nice. So yeah, we just saw a third bear. Nice. Small one. Small one. Dinker. But still know, bear. Still bear. That's good. Yeah, that's, man, we almost put the smack down on the one over there. Yeah. Just, did you walk this road at all? No, I I walked around the corner a little bit and then I came back and yeah, got camp kind of squared away. I'm feeling it might get windy tonight. And wet. And wet. It's supposed to rain heavy. But no, yeah, Joseph spotted that bear over here, like, what was it, 600 yards? Mm -hmm. And then we got within 300 yards. But at that time, he was at the bottom. Oh. And he just ducked right below the tree line into the drainage. Oh, shit. Well, he'll be back. He ain't going anywhere. No. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's nice up here. That gives you, that gives you a good 
hope for the next couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if I, uh, I was like, so when you're, that, that pin you sent, or the map one you sent me, mm -hmm. you know, like ends like somewhere like, I don't know, a couple miles. Like it stopped me and just like cut off. And I was like, man, I hope, I hope I've picked the right way that they came in. Cause it's kind of hard to tell like on the way the roads are like, but I kind of figured that's where you guys came in at. I seen your truck, but I don't remember you having that truck. Right. I didn't even know you had it. So I was like, so I didn't get a text. So I'm like, dude, I fucking, <laughs> I'm in the wrong all place. All the way up there and I'm on the wrong side of the ridge. I'm gonna be pissed. I was like picturing like seeing like your camp on the other side of the valley. I'd be like, hey. <laughs> I'm just gonna camp over here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that's good. No, it feels good finally get up here. It's a long, yeah. it's a long day. That was a long day. I definitely didn't have enough uh, ball sack to fucking pack that stove up here. I can tell you that much. Well, we figured with the rain coming in. Oh, I'm glad you guys did. <laughs> it's just a lot easier. We got two people grabbing everything. Yeah, we just figure with the rain coming in, we probably won't pack it the rest the rest of the. Yeah, weather like just switches like it gets starts getting hot. Yeah, yeah. So just probably the, the next couple of days when yeah. we when we go back to another area, we'll we'll uh, just pouring down rain we'll just take the tent. Fire that bad boy up. <laughs> <laughs> dry, 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 yeah, dry all your shit out. <laughs> 